Kindergarten Paper Plate Fish, Mrs. Woodleaf's Virtual Art Studio. Hello, kindergarten friends. Would you like to say hello to all the children? Arturo? Oh, bonjour, boys and girls. He is so happy to see you. He's been wondering when he was going to get to see you again. And I promised, I promised him that I would. Oh, he wants to tell you that he loves you and he misses you. And he wants you to do a great job on this project. So the project that we have planned for you today is paper plate fish. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to first go in the kitchen and ask, can I have a paper plate? Then you're going to ask, may I have a pair of scissors and a pencil? And then you're going to meet me in Mrs. Woodleaf's virtual art studio. Here we go. We're going to be making a paper plate fish and we're going to be focusing on shape and color. The shapes that we will be concentrating on are geometric shapes and organic shapes. We'll talk a little bit about those in just a moment. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a paper plate. You can see that both of these paper plates have something on them. This one has some designs and this one's red. I really can't color on red and this makes me really wonder how I'm what how I'm going to solve this problem and then I turned it on the back and I saw that the back is white. So this is going to be the side that I'm going to work on. The same with this one. So here's what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do is to go and ask for a paper plate. You're going to take that paper plate and you're going to put a dot right in the middle, just like this, and you're going to make a straight line going all the way down, just like this. Good. Next, you're going to make another line and you're going to make it go out to the side, like this all the way across and all the way down, just like that. Now it's time to cut. This paper plate is a little thick, so it, I'm, if you need to get a little bit of help making your paper plate fish, that's fine. Now, there. Now, what you have, this is going to be your fish's body. And this is going to be your fish's tail. Now you can make your fish first and then attach the tail at the end or you can go ahead and attach it now. I think I will wait, but I'm going to lay them out just like this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about what that fish looks like when it's swimming. So you only see one eye when a fish is swimming. When you look in an aquarium, you see a fish swimming, you only see one eye. So I'm going to make one eye right here. There's one fish in the ocean that's a little bit different, and both eyes are on the same side, and that's called a flounder, but that's not really what we're making today. So first you make a circle here, and now I'm going to make a circle inside. You can make it in the center, over to the front, so that the fish is looking forward, or back towards the back. I think I'm going to make my fish looking back to the back and I'm coloring that circle in. That's his pupil. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some interesting shapes. So if I were to make geometric shapes, they would be circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, and ovals. The same kind of shapes you used when you did your butterfly assignment. But I'm going to give you the opportunity to use any shape that you want and decorate your fish any way you want. You can even do stripes and checks. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Okay, I'm going to make stripes. I can make lines going down. Good. I could make matching lines on his tail. I can make lines going across. Those lines going down are called vertical lines. And the lines going across are called horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are the lines that go across. Oops, diagonal lines are the lines. In fact, you cut diagonal lines right here. And the vertical lines are the lines that go up and down. There you go. Those are our important art words that we're learning today. 
So at this point, I might want to make some zigzags or designs here. Anything that you care to, any kind of design you want to add. I'm just making this up as I go. I want you to think about all the different shapes that you know. I mean, I've made some squares here, but maybe inside of those squares, I could put some more shapes. I could put geometric shapes or organic shapes. You know, I really like hearts, so I'm gonna make a heart right here. An art is, a heart is an organic shape. And maybe I'll make some other shapes here. Circles, squares, maybe a flower. That's an organic shape. But these are super cute. triangle. You can make your fish any way you want. All right, now when you're ready to add color, you have so many options. You can use crayons. You can actually use crayons to color in some of the shapes. I want you to watch this really cool trick I'm going to show you in a minute. I just colored these in with crayons, just my regular crayons, just like the kind you use in school. If you have those at home, you can use those. Now, the next thing, if you have a watercolor paint set, like this one, you can paint right over the crayon. Watch this. I'm going to put a little water move my water here so you can see. I'm going to put a little bit of water into the paint. I want to remind you that if you put a little bit of water in the paint and start painting, that the color is going to be very pale. But do you remember what we did in, in art class, what I taught you? Remember this? Stir, 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 round and round. Stir, 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 round and round. Do you remember saying that? Say it with me. Stir, 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 round and round. Stir, 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 round and round. Let's see if this looks better. Oh, yes. Doesn't that look a lot nicer? So if you have paint, you can paint it in. But if you don't, just use your crayons. And you can use markers. Wow, this fish is going to be really pretty when I get finished. I want to watch, show you this. I just rinsed my brush between colors. You already know how to do that because you've learned that in Mrs. Woodleaf's art class at Alla McConney. Look what happens when I paint over this heart with blue, the blue paint. Oops, doesn't work very well. Well, scratch that. Didn't really work very well. I'm gonna paint around my shapes like this. Maybe I'll try something else. I just rinsed my brush and put it in a different color. Stir, 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 round and round. I'm gonna paint over. Oh yes, this is lovely. Because my shapes still show through. I think I'm gonna keep working on this. finish painting it in. The next step would be to attach the tail. This is still a little bit wet, but I can do that with a stapler, I can do it with glue, or I can use tape. Just like this. And now I have a really cute paper plate fish. Now let's see you go and make your paper plate fish. Get started. <laughs>